In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can time and anticipate a market maker model to occur. So we see here on the 4 hour time frame that price trades within a discount. And what do we have within this discount? We have a fair value gap. And we also have a value gap above that, that's within our OT. So then we see price makes a retracement, touches the value gap or taps down into the value gap. And what happens then? Price takes off, taking out the all-time highs we have up here. So now let's talk about how we could time and anticipate this market maker buy model. First, we're going to talk about the four-hour time frame. So we saw the price makes a retracement down into this valley gap that is within a discount. And then we see price takes off. So how do we anticipate or time a market maker buy model in this case? And that we could anticipate by price going down into a discount. And when price is within a discount, it is most likely to react from that PDR within the discount and then go in the opposing direction. So basically we look for a higher time frame value gap that price could most likely react from. And these value gaps often happens to be within a discount. Another way we could anticipate a market maker model is by price sweeping a draw on liquidity. So here on the four hour time frame again, we see the price have created these relative equal lows. Price ran these relative equal lows and then took off. And it didn't manage to take out the all time highs, but it did still manage to take out the equilibrium. So when price takes out a draw on liquidity, we could anticipate a smart money reversal. Now let's go down into a little time frame and see if we could time or anticipate these market maker buy models based on price reversing from these areas. If you would like to engage with other traders, you can join my Discord. Link in the description is totally free. Now down here on the lower time frame, we're going to go over the first example. So we see that we have these relative equal lows down here, which is our draw on liquidity. And we talked about before when price sweeps a draw on liquidity, we could anticipate a smart money reversal. So if we were to time this market maker buy model, we could anticipate the drawn liquidity to create the smart money reversal. So let's see if price could take out the relative equal lows. And right here, price sweeps the relative equal lows. And a confirmation the price is willing to move higher is this change in state of delivery. And a change in state of delivery usually confirms that price is now on the buy side of the curve and is willing to move higher. And that also means that every high is going to be low resistance liquidity and every low is going to be high resistance liquidity. So if we were to take a trade entry based on the change in state of delivery, we could put our stop loss at the smart money reversal and then target this high up here as price should move higher now and this high should be low resistance liquidity. And what do we see price does? Price takes out this high up here. If we were to play price through a bit, we can see the price ran this high up here. And what do we also see? We see that every high was low resistance liquidity. And how can we identify that every high is low resistance liquidity? We can identify that by price sweeping the high with ease. So we see the price swept this high and made no retracement. Same over here, over here, and also over here. So that's how we can recognize low resistance liquidity. Now for the next example, we're going to talk about the PD array. So we anticipated the price would most likely reach down for this PD array as it is within a discount. And that also means that this is going to be internal range liquidity and the price reacts from internal range liquidity or respects the internal range liquidity where is price most likely to reach for external range liquidity. And external range liquidity for this scenario is the high of the market maker sell model. So how do we time this value gap or the market maker buy model? We can time the market maker buy model by first of all looking for internal range liquidity or see if seen if price ran external range liquidity. So in that case the drawn liquidity is internal range liquidity and then external range liquidity is now our next draw. So let's see if price is going to react from this PD array. And what do we see as the first hand? We see the price taps down, makes a small mohawk through the PDRA, and now should move higher. 
Down here on the one minute time frame, we can recognize the smart money reversal as where price reacted from the Peter Ray. So the smart money reversal should not be traded to. Now we could look for the low risk buy. And right here, this inversion value gap could be our low risk buy. So let's see if price was to retrace down into this inversion value gap and then take out this high up here. And the reason we want to target this high up here is because it's an intermediate term high. And when we're on the buy side of the curve, every intermediate term high is going to be low resistance liquidity as we talked about before. So let's see how this plays out. Right here, price makes a retracement down into this inversion value gap. Then we could take a trade entry. And where are we going to put our stop loss? We're going to put our stop loss at the smart money reversal. This price should not touch the smart money reversal. And then we're going to target internal range liquidity. And what happens? Price steps down into this inversion value gap again, and then takes out the low resistance liquidity, which is this intermediate term high. Now we're just going to look at the two minute time frame as price created a change in state of delivery. And a change in state of delivery we use as a confirmation when price create this smart money reversal. We also see that this value gap was paired with this change in state of delivery. So in that case, you could take a trade entry based on this value gap, then target the internal range liquidity. Now we're going to go back up into the higher time frame and see if price reached for internal range liquidity and then took out external range liquidity. Here on the one hour time frame, what do we see? We see the price moved from internal range liquidity, which was the four hour value gap, but price created the smart money reversal. So in that case, when price moves from internal range liquidity, we should see external range liquidity being our drawn liquidity. And what do we also see? We see that the external range liquidity is the all time highs. And there's also a lot of low resistance liquidity. And all this low resistance liquidity was before high resistance liquidity on the sell side of the curve, but now on the buy side of the curve, so it's going to be low resistance liquidity now. And right here, price sweeps the external range liquidity. Now that price ran the external range liquidity, what can we anticipate? We can anticipate a market maker sell model. And the reason for that is because we know price moves from external range liquidity to internal range liquidity and from internal range liquidity to external range liquidity. And we saw the price moved from internal range liquidity up to external range liquidity. So now price should move from external range liquidity down to internal range liquidity. And that, that's how we time and anticipate these market maker buy models and sell models when price takes out external range liquidity or internal range liquidity. So in that case, where is price mostly likely to reach for? Price is most likely to reach for a Peter rate that is within a discount or of course a premium. And right here we see the price reach within this value gap. So in that case, we could anticipate price moving higher now taking out external range liquidity. And what does price do? Price takes out the external range liquidity. So now let's go down into lower time frame and see how price taking out external range liquidity, then reaching for internal range liquidity look like. Down on the lower time frame, what do we see? So we see the price ran the external range liquidity. And we can time the market maker sell model by anticipating price reversing from the external range liquidity. So in that case, now we are bearish and we're going to look for bearish setups. And that is also means that every low is going to be low resistance liquidity. So let's see what price does. So right here, we see the price created this inversion value gap setup within here. So in that case, we could short this if we wanted to, and this could be the low risk sell put our stop loss at this high, and then we could target a low or all the way down here, as this should now be low resistance liquidity.
And what do we see? We see the price sweep this low down here. Now that we saw that the market maker sell model has occurred, how long can we anticipate this market maker sell model to occur? We can anticipate the market maker sell model being all the way down into a high time frame PDRA or internal range liquidity. So we have the hourly further gap within here. So in that case, we can anticipate price respecting every high or every high being high resistance liquidity until price taps down into this internal range liquidity. If we just played price through, we can see that we reached down into the internal range liquidity. And right at 3 a.m. in the London session, we saw the price manipulated lower, sweeping this low. So in that case, we could anticipate distribution going into the AM session. So let's play, play price forward and look for a trade entry within the AM session. Now here for the New York AM session, what do we see? We see the price at 8.30 had high impact news drivers. And what do we also see? We see that now every high is being disrespected and that is a sign the price is willing to move higher. So in that case, we can drop down into a lower time frame and look for a potential trade entry. Down here on the lower time frame, what do we see? So we see the price is starting to respect this order block and then it's moving higher. So what if we were to take a trade entry? Then we could enter at this bearish valley gap or inversion valley gap, put our stop loss at the low and then target the internal range liquidity. But what if we were to target the last external range liquidity or the last smart money reversal? That's all the way up here. So let's see if this AM session can manage to take out the external range liquidity. And we see that the AM session is not capable of taking out the external range liquidity. So in that case, let's play price fast forward and go into the next AM session. Now here for the next AM session at 8.30, what do we see? So we see that the London session ran the external range liquidity. So in that case, we couldn't take a trade entry based on the external range liquidity being our drawn liquidity. So using external range liquidity and internal range liquidity to time market maker models is really working well.